welcome to VTH my dear students in this session we are going to discuss about an autonomous light powered molecular motor uh, autonomous light powered molecular motor means autonomous means it it goes on its own energy and uh, by applying the light energy is called as a autonomous light powered molecular motor this can be explained by taking this rotaxan as an example this rotaxan has uh, a two stoppers they are p and t and it has a ring r and it has three stations they are rigid space r s and station a1 and station a2 initially the light energy is passed on to the photoactive st stopper p so what are the a1 a2 s r and t can be explained by using this type of the structures the dumbbell components are units like p p means uh, ruthenium polypyridine complex this is the photoactive uh, stopper this photoactive stopper is the chemical nature is ruthenium polypyridinium complex that acts as a dual role that means uh, it is a light fueled motor it acts as a light fueled motor and a stopper because it acts as a stopper between the ring the three stations and uh, it also activated by the photo energy so it is a photo fueled motor and a stopper the next one is the s here s is a uh, rigid spacer s is a rigid spacer it is a para tertiary phenyl type rigid spacer and uh, we have two electron accepting stations they are a1 and a2 that means these are the a1 and a2 are the two electron accepting stations the a1 first one is the 4 4 dash bipyridinium unit and a2 is the 3 3 dash dimethyl 4 4 dash bipyridinium unit the next one is the t this is a stopper this stopper is t means tetra aryl methane group it acts as a second stopper so when a light is uh, fall on the first stopper or photo fueled motor then we can observe the four operations four types of the operations in this autonomous light powered molecular motor they are first one is the destabilization of the stable translation isomer next one is the ring displacement third one is the electronic reset and fourth one is the nuclear reset now these four can be explained in this diagram the first one is the destabilization of the stable translational isomer in this three types of the processes can be observed the, they are process 1, process 2 and uh, process 3. In this uh, we have uh, indicated them as numbers. In the first one, first process, the photoactive unit P is excited by the uh, light. That means when a photo energy is fall on this uh, photoactive or photo fueled motor or photoactive group, then it is activated and uh, after activation an electron is uh, transferred from this uh, photoactive group to the the station a1 that means the electron act acceptor station a1 so this is the transfer of the electron electron from stopper p to the station a1 this is indicated by the second process process 2 so after that that means after the transfer of the electron from uh, stopper p to the uh, electron acceptor station a1 which is uh, on which the ring is also present the third process takes place in the third process the deactivation process of the p the deactivation of the process that means the light energy is uh, excited that means the excited photoactive group is deactivated by the loss of that photo energy this can be explained or in the are indicated by the process 3 these three processes are called as the destabilization of the stable translational isomer so in this we have three process the first process is the absorption of the light energy by the stopper p it has uh, a dipositive group then after excitation an electron is transferred from this photoactive group to the station a1 so this is indicated by the process 2 again the activated stopper is deactivated by the loss of the energy this is indicated by the process 3 so after transfer of the electron from p to a1 the p which is initially had as a dipositive ion convert into the tripositive ion by the loss of the electron so 
the next one is the ring displacement process ring displacement process means the um, ring is displaced that means uh, shuttled between two stations a1 and uh, a2 so in the next process that means in the process 4 the ring is which is initially present at station a1 is shuttled between a1 to a2 so after gaining of the electron from the p initially the station a1 has two positive charges but after gaining the electron from the p it has a only one positive charge and an electron so it is excited due to the gaining of the electron so due to the gaining of the electron the positive one of the positive charge is removed so due to the removal of that positive charge the ring is shuttled to the station a2 the ring is shuttled to the station a2 so this is indicated by the process 4 the next one is the process 5 that means in the process 5 the electron transfer process is initiated that means uh, the from a1 to the p the electron transfer process is initiated and it is indicated by a dotted line because the process is just initiated so this is uh, indicated by process 5 the next one is the electronic reset process in the electronic reset process the electronic transfer is completed from station a1 to the stopper p or photoactive group by the transfer of the complete transfer of the electron so this is indicated by the process 3 in this only the ring is resided at station a2 this is electronic reset due to this electronic reset the a1 is reduced and that means a1 losses electron and that electron is added to the tripositive photoactive group and that tripositive photoactive group again finally converted into the dipositive photoactive group so this is called as a electronic reset process so this is indicated by the process 6 the next one is the nuclear reset this nuclear reset in the after completion of the electronic reset the nuclear reset process take place this is indicated by the process 7 due to the uh, loss of the electron or transfer of the electron from the station 1 a1 to the uh, photoactive group p the two positive charges again reset and uh, due to this resetting of the electrons at a1 the electron uh, the ring shuttling process uh, reversed from a2 to a1 reverse process from a2 to a1 so the ring is again shuttled from a2 to a1 the ring is resetted and the positive charges on the p is also resetted and the two positive charges on the a1 also resetted and that means it resembles the initial state of the molecule so that is it is called as the nuclear reset process this is all about the autonomous light powered molecular motor okay thank you very